Now is not the time to be selfish. Now is the time to commit to a community, to be part of something. Our vision for the future is rooted in hope. It ensures a future for humanity. Cast despair aside. There is no point in clinging to it. Do not commit to isolation. Dedicate yourself to a grander purpose, and you will not be alone. Trust in us to guide you, and we will put our trust in you. Within our walls, you will be safe. Within our walls, your needs will be met. Within our walls, Life goes on. The tower will always stand. Mama. No one gets inside. Strict orders. You have a problem with that? See Jeff. He's around the corner. Known better. You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent. Open to all opportunities. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim. But he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light Blue House across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. I like to know what I'm up against ahead of time. What are their numbers exactly? We've seen as many as four on the second floor. But you never know. They multiply like rats. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then! Knowing how those savages operate? He might not have much time before they execute. What was he thinking? These are people who have chosen to be savages, not rational people! Not people who understand and appreciate what the tower is accomplished! Maybe Noir is a traitor. Maybe Noir is a liar and a thief. She will say and do anything to further her own selfish agenda. Do not be fooled. She will not help you. She will corrupt you. I considered her family. Treated her as if she were my own flesh and blood. Yet she did not hesitate to betray me. She tried to turn my dearest and most loyal friends against me. Oh, her treachery knows no bounds. She is desperate and will do the same to you. Do not be fooled. Maybe Noir is a menace. Maybe, she should I be shunned. Cruel, if you assist her in sure any I way, will be, you will leave we'll us no choice to but to consider you breath. an enemy of the tower. We do not wish this. I do not force to our hand. The tower the will right always out. stand. Then maybe, Mama. if I'm feeling particularly cruel, and I'm sure I will be, we'll force you to swallow them whole. How does that grab? I'm thinking we blind you first, Anthony. 
gouge them right out. Then maybe, if I'm feeling particularly cruel, and I'm sure I will be, we'll force you to swallow them whole. How does that grab you? I'm thinking we blind you first, Henry. Gouge them right out. Then maybe, if I'm fe- Who the hell are you? The negotiator? A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life? Not sure I really see the point. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke? That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt, where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful, because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. He deserves to die, and I will gladly do it. I am sorry. Please! What's the holdup? I am sorry. Please! What's the holdup? We did what we had to do, right? One less brain-dead tower slug plaguing the world. Fuck it. I think it's time to put some pressure on these fuckers. We're outnumbered, but we have momentum, right? Yeah, the time is right fucking now. You with us? No time like the present. That's the attitude. We've got this. Let's send the message that the future belongs to the reclaimed! Our skull. <laughs> this asshole must be stupid. You think I'm
with us today. <laughs> Let's take this asshole. <laughs> Close. around here.
You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. Not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking, things really went to shit. I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while. Let's wait on this. Take care of your business. I'll wait. Okay, where were we? Welcome back. The reserve is real, but you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking, things really went to shit. I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here, soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. Who were the others? National Guard, like me. Look, none of this matters right now, so that's all I have to say. Rumors all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food? Meds? Tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed, or drowned. Pick your poison, right? Drowning sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, well, well with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, uh, uh, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me, a fresh start. Some fresh fucking air. You haven't been up front with me so far. Why should I trust you? Because my life is in your hands. I can't get out of this hole without your help. And look, hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is gonna remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're gonna have to work with me. 
It's a chance you have to take. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist.